Welcome to Astropad Studio. To get started, launch the Astropad Studio apps on both your iPad and desktop. If they are on the same Wi-Fi network or connected with a USB cable, your devices will automatically connect to each other and you'll see your iPad mirroring your desktop. Next, launch your favorite desktop creative app like Photoshop and you'll see your desktop workspace mirrored on your iPad. From here, let's go over the major tools available to you within the Studio sidebar. We will start with a way to control what portion of your desktop you see on the iPad. In Move and Zoom, you can manually adjust your view using a gesture or tap one of the two buttons at the top for a quick adjustment. Next, we'll take a look at the workspace. When you tap on this button, you will see a panel of shortcuts that are specific to the program currently in use with Astropad Studio. If you don't like some of the shortcuts you see here, you can edit them and create new ones. Just tap Edit Workspace to get started. While in Edit Workspace, you can also edit and add to your quick keys along the bottom of the screen. These quick keys can show up while the full studio sidebar is hidden, so this is a great place to put shortcuts you reach for the most. You can also use magic gestures to access your favorite shortcuts. Just like our sidebar shortcuts, these are set to commonly used actions, but you can customize them to fit your workflow. Astropad Studio also has pre-programmed gestures specifically for 3D programs like Blender, and they help you move around your scene through panning, rotating, and zooming. Now that you know the basics, you're ready to start creating. If you need more help along the way, visit help.astropad.com.